What's up, you sick mother bluffers? My name is Mark, I'm a recreational poker player from Portland, Oregon. In this one, I play a cash game session at Deuces, a home game in the Beaverton Aloha area. I have a link to their Facebook group in the description of this video. I play there most Fridays, it's a very friendly and sometimes very juicy game. So if you want to check it out, make sure to visit the link and uh, maybe I'll see you there soon. This particular session was one of those juicy games. Without further ado, let's jump into it. In this first hand, I get dealt 8-7 suited in the undergun position, and there's a button straddle to 5, which means the action is on the small blind, and they make the call. Big blind calls as well, and I decide to mix things up a bit here and raise to 20. The button straddle calls, and both the small blind and big blind decide that if their hand was good enough for 5, it's good enough for 20. We go 4 ways to a flop of queen 5-8 rainbow, I flop middle pair. Both blinds check to me and I feel like the best play is to bet here as I can represent aces, kings, queens, ace, queen, hands my opponents shouldn't have when it didn't 3-bet preflop, and also to deny equity from hands with overcards which should be pretty easy on such a dry flop. I bet out 50, the button strata calls, the small blind and big blind fold. Heads up to the turn which is a 3 completing the rainbow, not a great card to continue betting on, I check and the button checks back. The river is a king, and on this card I decide to turn my hand into a bluff which, looking back, is a mistake. I really don't have anything strong here after checking the turn, and I know this particular opponent is capable of making some light calls. I compound that mistake by betting way too small, 80 bucks. The button tanks, so even though it's not a great play, it looks like I might get it through. But after about 20 seconds, they make the call. I show my hand, and they show jacket of diamonds for a pair of eights with a better kicker. They're going to take this one down. Next hand, there's an open to five from under the gun, the middle position player, and button call. And I look down at a couple of ladies in the small blind. I three bet to 20, the original razor calls, middle position folds, and the button puts in the extra 15. We go three ways to a flop of jack, three, queen, two spades, I flop top set. With flush and straight draws available, I decide to C bet for 35, and unfortunately, under the gun, and the button fold. Ugh. In this one, we're playing a 5-2-2 bomb pot. I start out with ace, queen, queen, 10-7, and the nut diamond draw in the cutoff, and we go seven ways to a flop of three, king, five, two diamonds on top, and deuce, 10, jack, two spades on bottom. I have the nut flush draw on top, and the nut straight draw on bottom. I have a pair of 10s with an ace kicker, of course, but that's kind of irrelevant in this game where you want to make a nut at hand or close to it. The big blind bets 20, hijack calls, I call, button calls, and the small blind calls as well. Five ways to the turn, which comes the knight of clubs on top and the queen of diamonds on bottom. Not much changes on top, but I do pick up a set of queens on bottom to go along with my nut straight draw. The big blind bets 55, the hijack calls, Someone could already have a straight on bottom, so I'm just going to call, try and realize my equity. The button and small blind make the call. So we're still five ways to the river, which comes the ace of clubs on top and the king of clubs on bottom. I break out on top, a pair of aces is no good, and I end up making the nut straight on bottom, but I have two problems. One, I have nothing on top, so I'm chopping at best, and two, I get quartered if anyone has ace king, ace queen, ace jack, or ace 10 since those hands make the nut straight on bottom as well. The thing is, there's already two aces, two kings, three queens, a jack, and two tens accounted for. So when the big blind bets 100 and the hijack folds, I'm going to flick in the call and hope I'm the only one with the nut straight. The button and small blind folds and the big blind shows ace king for top two pair on top, good for one half of the pot, and of course, the nut straight on bottom, so we chop the other half. I end up getting quartered, but since three other players called flop and turn, I only end up losing about 27 bucks. With so many blockers to the nut straight, I feel like a call to potentially win 305 was justifiable here. In this one, we're playing a Dramaha bomb pot. We go six ways to a flop of deuce, three, three, rainbow, and I look down at 10, seven, four, four, three. I've got trip threes with a 10 kicker and a pair of fours in my hand. Trip threes with a 10 kicker is a little bit weird to play in this game. I'm looking to make a full house, but anyone with a three and higher cards than a 10 could very well make a bigger full house by the river. I also only have a pair of fours at the moment, so I think the best play is probably to check, but I end up betting 20 and the entire table 
could not call fast enough. We're going to be heading six ways to the turn, but first, let's draw. I'm going to draw two, hold on to my three and the pair of fours. I draw the six and the ace of diamonds, so not much of an improvement for my five card hand, but when the turn comes to six of clubs, I make my full house, three is full of sixes. With basically nothing in my hand and a vulnerable boat on the board, I continue with the uh, betting instead of checking thing, and I bet 125, basically trying to end the hand right here and there. Under the gun, and middle position player fold, the cutoff repots it in my face for 475, basically putting me all in. The button folds, and why did I have to put myself in this position? Here's the predicament I find myself into. There's a close to zero chance my pair of fours down is good, so I'm chopping this pot at best. On the board, I already lose to pocket sixes. I know, I, I know, what are the chances, right? Trust me, I've played enough Dramaha to know that being shown the nuts when you have the second nuts is not that uncommon. Not only that, but I can also lose if one of my opponent's overcards comes on the river, giving them a bigger boat. So here's a really shitty situation you can find yourself in in split pot games. You're getting free rolled. The absolute best case scenario is my opponent has a super strong hand down like a flush or something and they're just trying to push me out of the chop and scoop the pot. I'm over here agonizing over this decision. I'm regretting betting the flop and turn. If I had checked, the pot would be smaller and I'd be facing a smaller bet. My brain is telling me to fold. My hand wants to stick the rest of my chips in, but I ultimately find the discipline to lay it down. If there's some drama hot players out there, let me know what you would have done in my position. This is definitely one of the hardest and tightest folds I've made in a long time. Another Dramaha bomb pot, and this one I look down at Queen Jack 764 with four spades from under the gun, and the flop comes King 8 9. I've got some straight draws on the board and four to a flush in my hand. Action checks around to the cutoff who bets 30. The button calls, small blind calls, big blind folds. I make the call. Four of us are going to the turn, but first, it's time to draw. I'm going to get rid of the Jack of Diamonds and draw one, hoping to complete my flush, and I draw. The deuce of spades, let's go. The turn comes the six of diamonds and the small blind is going to take the lead and bet pot for 150. Thinking about what to do here, I think the best play is just to call. If I raise, I'm most likely going to end up heads up versus the player with the winning hand on the board and chop, not winning much in the end. By just calling, I allow someone with a decent but losing hand to put more money in the pot. So I call, the cutoff calls and the button folds. Three ways to the river, which comes the ace of hearts. The small blind once again bets pot for 600 bucks. I'm obviously never folding with the queen high flush down. Just hope I'm not getting coolered here. The cutoff is going to make the fold and so we go heads up to showdown. Small blind shows ace queen of diamonds for the nut flush on board. I have the best hand down and we're going to chop this $1,000 pot. Next is another 522 bomb pot. Six of us see a flop of king, king, eight, rainbow on top, and nine, three, nine, two diamonds on bottom. And I look down at king, king, queen, queen, six on the button. Boom! I flopped nuts on top, and I got a king high flush draw on bottom, which is probably not gonna be good on a paired board. Middle position player leads out for 20. For similar reasons to the previous hand, I just call, and the small blind calls. Three ways to the turn, which comes to seven of hearts on top, and a deuce of diamonds on bottom, improving me to the king high flush. The small blind is going to put their last 40 in the pot, and the middle position player raises to 100. Once again, I'm not sure whether to just call or raise here. I've got the top board locked up, so when middle position player raises, they most likely have a boat on bottom. I don't really see a point in raising since they're probably not going anywhere, and it's just the two of us playing for the side pot. So I just make the call and we're going three ways to the river with one player all in and it comes the ace of clubs on top and the five of diamonds on bottom. I decide to lead for 175 just in case my opponent was somehow playing the top board with pocket eights or pocket sevens or maybe river to boat with aces. They think for about 20 seconds before finally making the call and they show nine three for nines full of threes on bottom. So we're going to chop the side pot Small blind shows 9-5 for 9s full of 5s after turning the nut flush on bottom, and so we chop the main pot. This is going to conclude this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please, please hit that like button and don't hesitate to subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to see more of my videos. In the meantime, 
Thank you so much for watching. Good luck at the tables and catch you in the next one.